hello there, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd and uh, today I'm gonna upgrade the Epiphone SG Special that I have. Um, yeah, because what I want to get rid of is these ones. Um, yeah, the horrible tunings that I usually complain about. But when it comes to cheap Epiphone models, uh, hmm, there we have it. And People ask me what's wrong with them then, yeah, let's try to explain this. Uh, first, this part, the tip of it, where you actually do the tuning, is made of plastic. So it's cast plastic around a rather small metal like tip here. So every time you turn this, you this plastic basically works against the metal tip that's inside of here. and. After a while, well, the plastic breaks. Uh, I've had this happening to me and I've had lots of comments from people that have had the exact same experience. So that will probably happen. Okay, so um, yeah. We should just start by removing these tuners. So I'm gonna start with that, okay? Yeah, I removed the strings here and I just wanted to mention the stop tail bridge that Epiphone uses, the lock tone. Which it's actually actually a great improvement compared to regular tuner mag bridge because when you do this, it actually stays. If you have a regular tuner mag bridge, all these pieces fall out. So yeah, it's a great thing. Just wanted to mention that. Let's remove the tuners. Okay, now the tuners are gone. And yeah, let's look at them. Here we have the original tuners. Let's see if we can get those to focus. Um, there you have it. And uh, yeah, very cheap, very cheap. And another thing about these tuners, they have a bad ratio between the turns you do on this one and the turns that actually happens here where the strings are attached. This is probably a 12 to 1 ratio or something like that, so 12 turns here equals one turn of this one. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade to these no-name uh, Schaller Goto copies that I bought at the local guitar store for very little money. And uh, yeah, let's talk about the last part. These are, I think, 18 to 1 in ratio, so 18 turns here equals 1 here. It takes a longer time to um, stretch the strings, but on the other hand, you are able to fine tune them much more. The construction is much more solid, so uh, it won't move that easy, and that makes uh, the strings stay in tune. And uh, last but not least, the tip is screwed in here and is made of metal as well, so it's very solid. And yeah, this would be a big improvement, I think. The thing is, when you want to attach this one to the guitar, uh, you can't really replace it straight away, because the cheaper ones uh, are much thinner, as you can see here. So you have to make these holes bigger because they can't fit in now so you get a round file and uh, yeah work them until they are the proper size so i'm gonna do that right now see you soon okay there you have it now the holes are made for the new tuners and while i was at it i filed away the Name and brand and everything since this is a custom guitar now It's my hot rod, so I'll put some other name on it. Okay, let's attach the tuners Okay, there we go here are the tuners are attached I haven't put in the last Screws here because what you do is you adjust them So you make sure that they're all right or in the right angle and then you tighten these screws so you make sure that everything is perfect then 
you take a small uh, yeah, small nail, punch it into these, and then you screw them tight as well with the screws that are included. And then you have a perfect upgraded guitar. What do you know? Yeah, with the final screws attached, well, there's not much left but to uh, attach the strings and tune it up and yeah, rock on. Here's the final result, everything in place and ready, yeah. So that's the new SG Special or whatever I will call it now. Uh, so I'm very glad to say that these will go now and these will stay. Hope you found this useful. See you soon. Bye.